So today we're going to be comparing the vortex indicator with the relative vigor index to see which one has a higher win rate. And I use chat GPT to make all of my coding for these indicators. That's right. I didn't code anything myself. Everything was chat GPT. All I did was take the indicator from trading view and I put in some basic, basic entries in here, such as a stop loss, a take profit level, as well as date range to have some type of parameters in there. But overall, I have a very simple code that I'm gonna be using to back test just to see which indicator has a higher win rate. So this indicator here, the Vortex indicator is very common two line cross in the No Nonsense Forex community. It took me 86 attempts to make this happen. Now, to be fair, about 30 of these attempts was me trying to add a news filter, which unfortunately does not work on ChatGPT, but still took about 50 attempts to make. Now, I was taking probably about two hours to make this. Uh, I had an old error that came up with ChatGPT. Every time ChatGPT fixed an error, a new error came up. Sometimes the same error happened again. It was a nightmare, but overall we got there. And once I was able to get there and have a basic, basic script, uh, I was able to then simply replace one indicator with another. So for example, I have a vortex indicator here, and I also was have the RVI indicator right here. So this, as you can see, it only took me three attempts and it was actually just the first attempt that I was able to do it in. The other two attempts were me just changing some of the basic uh, input levels. So. We're gonna take a look here at the RVI or the relative vigor index, which is a two line cross and see how it performs. So we're simply gonna add it to the chart here and we can put RVI in here, vigor index, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so RVI looks like it's a pretty fast two line cross here. Uh, over here, it's Euro USD, and obviously because I've coded this as a strategy on uh, TradingView, uh, all I have to do instead of doing the manual back testing is I can simply go through and see the win rate. So it's about 46, 43, 45, 50. So this is hovering right around a 46, 46 percent win rate. Uh, it's not too bad. It's pretty standard. Uh, it's a little bit lower than some of the other ones I've compared to. I'm using a 10 year uh, date range, by the way. So from 2013 all the way up to 2023. And uh, yeah, so we have about a 46% win rate here. It's not too bad, but let's take a look and see what the vortex indicator has in store for us. So this is the code that I'm using for the vortex indicator. It's about 50 lines, so pretty basic code. Uh, it's already automatically plotted in here and I can simply go into the strategy tester and see, okay, we have 55, 72, wow, that's a big one, 72, 57, 68, 69. So this is hovering closer to probably about a 63, 64% win rate. So it's definitely a lot higher than the RVI. Now keep in mind, just because an indicator has a higher win rate, doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be better for your system. So if you are looking to involve this in your no nonsense foreign trading system, uh, please make sure to actually test it with the rest of your indicators in your system, make sure it fits. I'm actually using the Vortex indicator in my system. If you're familiar with my trading channel, uh, I use it as my confirmation one or my C1 entry indicator. And I'm pretty happy with it so far. Uh, I've taken it off of the base settings. When I do both of these testings, I simply use the default settings, which for the RVI is 10, for the Vortex is 14. And uh, yeah, on the default settings, Vortex indicator does pretty well. I've kind of changed things up a little bit just to fit my uh, own trading preference. But yeah, this, this took me a really long time to make. Um, and I'm very happy that I don't have to manually go in and back test. Um, and that I have a really easy way of uh, taking a look and seeing this indicators. Uh, you can go on Dylan G's channel as well. Uh, he's a very popular guy in the No Nonsense Forex community. He does a coding series as well. But for a guy who has no coding background and very little coding experience, um, this is just a lot easier for me to just use ChatGPT. And I have the premium version of ChatGPT, so you may be able to do it with the basic one, but the basic one isn't gonna be able to solve the errors. With the GPT Plus, 
at least you can, if it gives you errors, you can solve it as well. But with the basic 3.5 uh, chat GPT, I, I don't think that it's gonna be able to fix your errors, even though you are still gonna be able to make some basic level of code out of it. Um, you can't use it for a full EA. You cannot use uh, ChatGPT to create a full no-nonsense Forex EA. I've tried it already, it does not work. But that being said, you can still backtest indicators very, very easily. You know, I spent maybe one or two hours creating this code and it saved me hours and hours and hours of backtesting. So I'm very, very happy with this. I'm very excited to see what I can do. And let me know uh, which indicators you'd like me to test out again. Uh, if you're interested, uh, keep in mind that all of these indicators are already built into trading views. So I'm not creating the code for the indicator itself. I'm simply creating the entry and exit parameters that I can use to backtest. So in this case, we use 1.5 ATR stop loss, as well as a one um, ATR take profit level. So if you like, like this video, let me know in the comments below. Uh, let me know which indicators I should test out next time. And as always, have a good day.